family. So how are you? Man, um, this is going to be like a crazy weekend, I feel, uh, in terms of what's happening politically. Family, I don't know if you're quite, I don't know if we're quite really grasping, all of us, grasping what has taken place this week. Like, Trump has this, to, to, to many, he has this, on the one hand people love him and on the other hand people hate him you know he's every kind of bogeyman that uh, you know people wish to you know put on him and at the same time he is somebody who is really a savior for people when I do, when I say that when I use the word savior I don't you know don't take it lightly when I use that word because this is a man who was essentially crucified this week and he survived the crucifixion on many levels not only did he survive an actual crucifixion itself but he also survived the social media and the, the press attacks on him like prior to that so this is a man who's really I mean, whether you whether you like him or not, whether you whether you love Trump or not, you got to admit, you got to admit that he is one formidable guy. He ain't ordinary. He is not ordinary. And either the sniper was a complete lunatic and didn't know how to shoot properly, or well, we know whoever it was was a lunatic, but either the person was just off with their aim or the hand of God was upon Trump. When I say the hand of God, you have to know my, my generation. My generation, when we use that term, we were talking about Maradona in Argentina. The hand of God. The hand of God must have been upon Trump in order to save him. Now, I know some of y'all will say, well, the devil can save himself as well, Auntie Sam. But, but let me ask you this question in terms of the Democrats. You know the spelling for Democrats is spelled D-E-M-O-N. Those are the first three. <laughs> but seriously, I was raised um, in a labor household, which is like democratic household. But then, as soon as my parents became homeowners, they switched to conservative. Hold on, just a second, hold on. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm enjoying the dialogue with you all, I'm enjoying this conversation, because essentially, I felt and I feel that I am conservative, and, but you see, yeah, but, but I do have some kind of democratic ideals in terms of is it right to allow people to determine their own future, etc. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Is it right? Just, just admire, just a, just a second. You see this wine? This week, blood was spilt. Red like this wine here. Blood was spilt. And it was the blood from the ear. And I have a video on the significance of the ear as well. Tell me if you want me to release it, because sometimes I don't know what y'all want. Listen, this man's ear, only his ear, but in particular his ear, was attacked. I noticed the ears on the, the, million, the billionaire industrialist in India whose son is getting married, the mother's ears, big like this. And in certain Asian cultures, many of the gods 
and the goddesses have big ears. You know why? Because it's about the wisdom and it's about the, 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 the knowledge of the divine and we, how we listen to the voice of God and how we receive the messages and how it's a, an entryway to a portal. Like that's why we can't listen to just any old thing. I'll release the video if you want me to release it. Just say, Miss Sam, release the ear video. Release the ear video. <laughs> and I'll do it, okay? Now, I want to read some of your comments. Okay, Ramona, you had a really nice comment. I just want to read that, okay? Let me take a sip of my coffee. Because you know, coffee saves lives. Hold on a second. Weird. Okay, is that better? All right, so here we go. First comment from Ramona. Hey, Miss Sam, looking good. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, I did the conditioner and sh the shampoo and treatment and conditioner video. Y'all wanted to know about my regime and the products that I'm using. I put on TikTok, okay? So maybe I should put a link on the community page over here so you can go over to TikTok. But if you just type in Celestial Tower Readings, you'll see it, okay? So uh, I did the video this morning, about 10 minute video or 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So Ramona said, uh, I think it's all a setup for Trump. I did a psychic tarot reading on it, Ramona. Check this. All a setup for Trump to get sympathy from the people to vote for him. And I think he had a blood pack in his hand. Oh, really? And he just popped it when he when he went down underneath the the lectern. He just popped it and then came back up with oh 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 that type of thing. Is that what you think happened? It's possible, but other people were killed as well. Other people were shot, injured, killed. So anyway, and when he went down, that's when he put it to his ear. Also, Secret Service didn't act like that in a case like that where they move swift and get them out of there because there could have been other shooters. Yeah, and and do you know what, Ramona? I actually thought there were other shooters as well. Like for a minute I was like when I was watching watching it, I was like You know, it made me so bloody tense and so flipping nervous. Honestly, I haven't felt like that in forever like it i felt and i still feel kind of paranoid for the situ because of the situation it's a bit weird you know there is this and that's why i don't understand why people are taking it lightly and oh laugh out loud it was trump oh they should have got him like what you do you, you, you guys list some of you guys don't listen even even many people are saying look i don't like trump but that was bang out of order you know i feel like he was either set up or or maybe secret service is compromised oh thank you thank you so much thank you um i want to pay but hold on yeah so it's a lot of paranoia stress And those of you who love Biden, you all say that God is protecting Biden. But suppose the same thing happened to him. You know, God forbid, God forbid. But you can't, surely you can't think, thank you so much, thank you. Surely you can't think that um, that was right, what happened, hold on. Yeah, surely you cannot, you can't condone that type of thing. The minute we start condoning, you know, people shooting after our political leaders.
you know, very, very, very terrible. Anywho, so what else did you say, Ramona? Trump would have had to have had time. Oh yeah, and his shoes came off as well. So he took his shoes off or they flew off or whatever because he had to move so bloody quickly. The shoes just kind of, you know, or maybe it's one of the things that they have to take off the shoes just in case, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, was it a setup? I, I agree it was a setup, but I don't know. I don't know who set it up, but I did a read in this morning. So you can go check that one out, okay? Nadine, hi Nadine, you said that um, I always enjoy seeing you. Thank you Nadine, I enjoy seeing your comments as well. Thank you darling. Uh, and love the readings. You know sometimes Nadine, I, don't, I get so carried away with the commentary I forget to do the readings. <laughs> I do have, I always have my cards with me, so there's no excuse really. Anywho, uh, so Nadine is a Trump supporter, okay, and um, she's thanking God that Donald Trump is okay. Yeah, why? Because why on earth would we want him dead? Damn, why would we? It seemed like the opposition would do anything to try and stop him. I, I want to say something though. You know, see. Biden is my birthday twin. Okay, <laughs> let's start there. <laughs> let's start there. And um, you see, we are tremendously nice people. We are, we are, we are, we are. Okay, but Scorpio. Uh, for, for them peoples, myself and the likes of Biden, even if we looks like we're ailing or we kind of have our defenses down or we, or we can, and you see there's, there's something funny, something funny went on family, just bear with me a second, did it look like for a moment Biden all of a sudden perked up like a flower and a plant that received water and he was extremely succinct, very art, he's usually articulate, but very succinct and cognitively he sprung up like that. When he said, oh, when he was, talk, you know, post assassination attempt, he, Trump assassination attempt, he, he, you know, the way he delivered his, you know, remarks and said, oh, yes, I've spoken to Biden and this is terrible what's happened and I've spoken to him and he's on the mend and all this type of thing, whatever he said. There was no sign of the cognitively, cognitively confused, you know, all that. There was none of that that we've been looking at for the past past months and worrying that Mr. Biden is going through this sundowning thing and I even did a whole video on it. Some of y'all liked it, some of y'all told me off. <laughs> oh, Miss Sam, I work in an elderly people's home and this is normal and that is normal and, and, and he still should be in the running to be president and he's highly capable and stuff like that. Okay. I'm going to argue about his capabilities because as a Scorpio and his twin, his Scorpio twin, I'm going to tell you that our capabilities are something like some of them crystals that I have that I ain't showed you, okay? You know there's, a cap you know there's that crystal that I have that I haven't showed you called Moldavite. Well, if Scorpio was a crystal, it would be something like that, okay? A cross between Moldavite and Diamond, okay? Because when you have Moldavite, all hell breaks loose. Do you understand? Lend me your ear a little bit. Come closer. Come. It's for good. Come closer. Come closer. All 
hell breaks loose. Okay. So what I'm trying to say to you is, this man Biden is still very nice. When I say nice, I'm talking about nice as in the East Coast way of nice. The street, when we say nice street wise, you know, get to like kind of, you know, gangster nice. Yeah, he's still nice. So I would not put it past him and them demon Democrats, <laughs> arguably, to be behind this shit. You hear me? Biden, I know him. You know, there was a song by Elaine, Elaine Page and Barbara Dickinson and Whitney Houston covered it. It's called, I know him so well. You know that song? <laughs> it's old. Nothing is so good, it lasts eternally. See that song? I understand Biden. Me know him. So he could be behind this because this has all the marks of a flipping Scorpio. Now, let's get back to this comment. I, I'm just telling you, I'm not saying it to be horrible or anything or, oh, Miss Tan, you're anti-democrat or you're, you're MAGA. No, 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 it's, not, it's none of them things, really. Not really. I'm talking about this powerful astrological energy the way them planets move and the way people who are affected by them planets behave okay as I said tremendously nice people but boy oh boy oh boy oh boy if you could see the inner mechanisms of <laughs> the mind baby anywho so how's that so thanks Nadine okay sweets uh, next one Claudette hi Claudette uh, and thank you thank you for saying that that's really sweet uh, uh, Claudette says I truly believe we can see things okay uh, I agree because seeing is not just about what we see with the, the eyes. There are many different types of optics, especially, especially because people manipulate the optics as well. And also because we're relying upon an in intermediary and third party to deter, you know, like TV and video and all this type of thing. And all of that can be manipulated. Okay? So what we're seeing is very often what some somebody or a body of people want us to see and that's not even to mention the spiritual aspect of it okay because optical so so that and then optical illusions manipulation and then the spiritual optics are completely different it's a whole different conversation but i understand you're probably referring to all of those things yeah so, you know, some people call themselves a prophet and they're just a damn liar. <laughs> they can prophesy for everybody but themselves. <laughs> Boy, me did dream, say me, me, me did dream, say you did this, that, and the other. Bitch, but you don't dream about yourself? Hmm? What you dream? You ain't gonna dream. You're some destiny killer. <laughs> okay? Don't let people come to you and tell you, oh, I dreamt this and that other. People and their psychological delusions and their, their nighttime talks with demons have nothing to do with you. Okay? So don't allow people to just come prophesy in your life. You return it to sender and you say right back at your sweetheart, whatever it is that you dreamt will fall upon your own head. <laughs> okay if a prosperity let it fall upon your own head okay because God knows your destiny and your ancestors your ancestors my ancestors they know what is there for you they know what you have and what you're gonna get and what you got okay so you don't need no one to come and say they're my prophet 
and they will prophesy into your life because a lot of these so-called prophets as well are informer, CIA operatives and the likes. Okay, so, and as bad as I might be, all the things that y'all accused me of over the past four years, none of y'all have ever said that I'm an agent, which is interesting. <laughs> boy so I continue I hope for humanity to see this as a sign from spirit I think Claudette that humanity is too far gone I think we're too far gone we're too greedy we're too egotistic we're too paranoid Claudette we're paranoid In general, we're paranoid. Before Trump was assass uh, the assassination attempt on Trump, we were paranoid. There was a girl called uh, Nini, we call her. Nini, someone from um, Chicago who set up a rapper. There was some talk of her being in Florida. There was a Florida content creator walking around with his pistol in his pocket saying he's looking for Nini because she got 500,000 on her head and didn't want the money but he's still paranoid mind you in Florida when you wear, when you wear your, your arms or your, your when you have your gun on your, your pistol on you in Florida ain't got nothing to do with paranoia that's just like putting on your socks or putting on a bra <laughs> or putting your pants on <laughs> Okay, but yes, in an ideal world, in a beautiful utopia, humanity should see this as a sign. And I do believe that, of course, this will impact people for good. This will, this will be a good thing. But I think by and large, and especially because we don't know what else is coming next, because we know, Claudette said, because we know that there are some people who want bad things for humanity, love wins. Yeah. Some people have lost all ability to relate to other people as human beings. We see ourselves as human and we see other people as animals. That's the first thing we do. We judge and we criticize and we want to destroy them because we think that they're just wicked animal creatures, Nephilim, half blood, half human, no empathy, and we want to save humanity. The few of us, the few of us who are human, we want to save. And everybody else will just get rid of. And people that think like that, they think like that. The eugenics, you think back, you know, back to eugenics. The abortion program, abortion as a um, thing in Western societies, that was founded upon eugenics. Because some people, they wanted to encourage the birth of some types of humans and limit the, uh, the births of others so an ideal human uh, what what Nietzsche's call you know that philosopher Nietzsche or Nietzsche's he, what he called the, the ubermensch the Superman what is perfect what is desirable what should be encouraged to breed Hitler did the same thing with his propaganda programs for women and children the program out there, if you breed, if you've got blonde hair and blue eyes, if you're pure German and don't have any Semitic or Negro blood in you or Asian blood in you or Hispanic blood in you, then you're perfect. You are the desirable. You are what Aryan supremacy, the Aryans, and all that come from India, you are perfect. You are the desired human. You are the ubermensch. You are the superman, the superwoman. And so Hitler encouraged German women 
to give birth to as many of these blonde hair blue eye babies as they could pop out and they got a check for it well that eugenics idea is the same thing that influenced people like Mary Stokes who started abortion clinics around the world that was based upon that anyhow enough of that rant so then somebody also mentioned um, that, fi that financer who lived on that island that nobody talks about but they said that he is no longer alive but nobody knows anything about it Jiz Lane Maxwell's friend so people mentioned his name in regards to Trump but, but if that's the case Trump has partied with everybody who has Trump not partied with? Mike Tyson, Don King, Robin Gibbons, JFK Jr. back in the day. Huh? And by the way, what did that a man release some text messages? Was it JFK Jr.'s uncle, one of the Kennedys, released some text messages between him and Trump the other day? Talk about indiscreet, eh? And then somebody also said about the Asian perfume that I mentioned a while back. Unusual name. Oh. We have a Divine Feminine perfume list on my website. There's a PDF there that you can purchase. Those are esoteric perfumes that if you spray them on, you'll attract millionaires. You literally will. <laughs> and you'll win contracts and you'll go into boardrooms and meetings and you will have supremacy over whoever is there, darling. It's a perfume list on my website. It's a PDF. But in regards to the particular perfume you're talking about, I don't know if it's on that list. Uh, yeah. At the moment, the perfume I'm wearing is um, Clarins. You know the Clarins? You've got that, those different like energy perfumes and I'm wearing the blue one. I forget, I'll show, you the, I'll show you in a TikTok or something like that. Talking of TikTok, go and follow me over there on TikTok. I did the shampoo and conditioner video. Let me leave this one here. It's been a long video. I'm going to eat me my good food. Oh. And I'll come back later on, okay? My wine. Remember, blood was spilt this week. We don't want to see any more bloodshed, but maybe, 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 it's inevitable. God help us all. Ashe, Amen.